Hello there and welcome back to Chris's Retro Corner. In a previous video that I'll link up here, um, I took my Atari um, physical floppy disk drive out of my um, ST and uh, and replaced it with a GoTech. Um, so yeah, one of the reasons I did that is because this thing I think is uh, has become dirty again. I've cleaned it once before, um, but I think the reed heads have become dirty again and it's become unreliable. So what I'm going to do is uh, is take the cover off. Have a, have a quick clean up of it. Um, probably just take the, uh, the front cover off as well, because as you as you can see, that's um, it's a little bit grotty in the corners. Um, and uh, and yeah, just, just just get it ready for when it eventually does go back in my ST. So let's get into this and start cleaning it up. So we can see the heads quite clearly here. If I, uh, if I bring that up into focus, um, just about here, you can see the head at the bottom there, and then again the one at the top. So that's that's what I want to clean. To do that, we'll pop a few squirts of IPA in there, and. Uh, just with a, a cotton bud, or as our American friends uh, say, a Q-tip. Um, just see if we can't uh, clean that up a little bit. If I bring that up into sharp focus here, perhaps you might you might be able to see on that side there it's got a little bit of dirt on it already so that's the uh, that's the bottom one done top one might be a little bit more tricky obviously I don't want to unsettle anything so I want to have to try and realign the heads Part of the reason why you want to do this is um, as media ages and wears over time, um, little particles from the magnetic surface of the disc can just sort of break away off the coating and, uh, and lodge themselves on the read write heads. Okay, I can't see anything on that side. I'll, I'll pop, pop that up a little closer so you can have a look as well. Yeah, that, that seems pretty clear. But uh, if I spin it round, I spin it round back the other way, you can see there's a little bit dark on one side. So yeah, that's probably about as much as I need to do. I'll pop that there for a second and just see if there's an easy way to get that fascia off. It looks like it just pops in, so I might be able to just pop that out. Let's have a, let's have a proper look before I start poking around in that. You can see a, a couple of tabs, just sort of here and here. And then there's a couple more just down there. I'm hoping it's, it's that easy. Put a thumbnail there. Don't know if that's quite free. Not quite. I was hey, hoping this all just pops off the front. So on this side, it just seemed very close to the. Uh, the mechanism just there. No, I think that was just the tab moving back into the case. Let's 
something a little finer perhaps. Looks a little bit more promising. One side. Oh, it's back in again. Ah, there we go. Pretty sure I can just lift this straight out. There we go. Good. Might as well use that for uh, cleaning this up as well quickly. Position while we're working on it. As you can see, there it's a it's a little bit grubby after it's had some sort of. 30 years worth of, um, of floppy disks popped in and out of it. So I'll just clean the button up as well, I think. Ooh, might, might use a different cotton mud. Turn our attentions just to the plastics around. Make sure that's nice and clean too. And that's looking better as well. this back together. Looking good. And I'm just going to have a very close up snoop those read right heads as much as I can. Can't see through the mechanism enough to really see the top one in all honesty. It was the cleaner one. So what I'm also going to do is because uh, Afterburner was particularly a dodgy. If um, if you remember, if you remember the uh, if you remember the last look at this disc, there was a there was a track on it. Now I can't I can't I think I can just about make it out. So if I come back up here again, and then try and get some sunshine or some light in there, can you see just there, just into the uh, oops, there we go. You can see there's a little bit of a track around there. Um, it's not evident on the other side, um, but it would it would kind of indicate that is actually the top reed head. On the other side, I happened to notice just a second ago, you, you can see just a little bit of something there. Can you see that? You remember me saying that um, that sometimes the uh, the magnetic coating can can actually mould a little bit. Actually, looks like what that is. So I'm going to clean this disc up. And I'm going to use that to uh, to test the drive when that goes back in the ST. So let's pop this back on for the time being. I think we're done with that for now.
there's a there's a little tag here that goes into a little guide here. Just just show you show you a little closer. So yeah, just making reassembly. Just a little tricky for a moment there. But that little uh, when I when I remember which side that's supposed to be. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Easy when you know how, as they say. Where was the screw? Just there. So that's the drive ready for refitting. Beautiful. Pop that there for now. And then we'll have a look at cleaning up that disc. So, I'll get just a little bit of masking tape. And I'm going to hold open this cover with that bit of masking tape just to make my life a little easier as I try and clean this up. Super. So if we start off, that's that's not a bad place to start. So we'll remember that that's flat and square here. Grabbing the cotton bud, popping it in the fluid, and then making sure the uh, retro corner workbench is uh, free of fluff. Just start working our way around this disc. So working from the inside out and then just flicking the disc around a, a little bit. Much the same as you clean a, a CD, you'd sort of start off with the, with the cloth in the middle and then take it out. So you're going to check the, uh, the cotton bud every so often, just make sure we haven't got anything uh, lurking on that. Last thing I want to do is take off a, a contaminant and then um, and then reintroduce it back to the surface of the disc. See here that the uh, I say the surface has got some uh, contaminants on it. Um, just just before I've reached halfway, so uh, we'll see if we can clean those off. In fact, yeah, we look okay on that side. So we'll do just a little bit more before we change ends of the. Uh, on bud. So, uh, good look at that. As we can see that drying off, I get some sunshine on that, some light. You can see just there, maybe there's still something. So, I'll, I'll give that another couple of quick wipes. Hopefully. Mm, no, still there. Did you see that? How, how that dried? So, yeah. Okay, I think that'll uh, I think that'll do for now for that one. And we're about halfway around, so I'll uh, swap ends as well.
that's once round on that side. Let's see if I can uh, spin the disc round. Right. Maybe the other side's a little bigger. Oh, not quite. But um, but yeah. There's a couple of marks still on there, so I'm going to go around that again. Just looking specifically at the at the odd bits here and there. That maybe I need to be a little bit more heavy handed with. start off on the other side it's a little bit fiddly I'm trying to trying to work your way around the uh, the disc of one of these I have seen some tools I have seen well one tool available and it's uh, like a 3d printed tray uh, and a little turning tool um, yeah seems like a seems like a good idea especially if you've got a few of these that you might want to you might want to try and clean up but for me, it's not too many at the moment. So yeah, I don't, I don't mind taking a little while to do this by hand. There's a few bits of contaminant again, just just sort of right in here. I'll try and get some uh, some light. Back. There you go. Try and get. Some. That's it. So you can see it's quite dark there. We've still got the track around the outside a little bit. Um, so obviously that's some damage to the surface. But uh, yeah, ho hopefully with a bit of cleaning, that surface mould will be gone. actually made a difference if I, uh, if I if I bring this up into into the camera you can see that's it's a bit darker on the end of the cotton bud so uh, yeah hope hopefully hopefully that's the mold and, and not the surface of the uh, of the disc but uh, yeah well, I'm qu quietly confident I'm just going to check this side again just to, just to make sure there's a couple of Couple of bits that look a little stubborn. One more, one more look at this side as well. Lovely. That looks an awful lot better. Like that 
close. And we will pop that away safe to use with that when they go back in my Atari ST. So thank you ever so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you give us a, a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. Um, do consider subscribing to my channel um, and I look forward to seeing you again in another video soon. Take care. Bye-bye.